Hi, it's Dawn. I've got a Microsoft Outlook tip for you today on how to add a poll to an email. So here we've got right here an Outlook email ready to go. And um, you'll see if I am on a new message, I can go over to the insert tab of the ribbon. And in our 365 accounts, I think you're gonna find poll. It's fairly new, but when I click it, what it does is it opens up a little sidebar that is connecting it up with Microsoft Forms. So if you've ever played with Microsoft Forms, this is a lot like it. Favorite, favorite, ice cream, and we'll do chocolate, vanilla, and let's add an option there. And we'll do our Neapolitan there. Okay, so you see there that I can add more options. I can set it for multiple answers or just a singular answer. And then I've got some information about it. I can add it to the email. Look what it's done. So it has added that the, this is gonna have a poll in it. And then there, view and vote in the browser. Let's go ahead and, and, and click on that and see where it takes us. Okay, this is what it looks like uh, on the uh, receiving end of that. So pretty easy to engage that if you wanted to. Now, if you uh, don't have that particular feature, remember you still have under options, voting buttons. So you can do the approve, reject, yes, no, yes, no, maybe. You can do custom. Um, with a custom poll, you can actually type in what you want there. So maybe we have a choice for Friday lunch. We'll say pizza, salads, sandwiches, and you can um, have uh, voting for that. I will say that this works best internally um, in a Microsoft environment in your uh, company uh, when you are maybe asking people with external emails these kind of things don't always show up but internally within your company um, environment it should work really nicely so I hope you like this have a good day